Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss some important multiple choice questions with answers from the subject VLSI design. Unit 2 Combinational Mass Logic Circuits. First question In pseudo N mass logic, N transistor operates in option A cutoff region. Option B saturation region, option C resistive region, option D non saturation region. So, in pseudo N mass logic, N transistor that is N mass transistor operates in saturation region. Next question The power dissipation in pseudo N mass is reduced to about dash compared to n mos device so if we compare zero n mos and n mos the power dissipation in zero n mos is about to 60 percentage reduced compared to n mos device so op c is the right answer next question pseudo n mos has higher pull up resistance than n mos device true or false the correct answer is the above statement is true. So option A is the right answer. Next question. In dynamic CMOS logic, dash is used. Option A, two phase clock. Option B, three phase clock. Option C, one phase clock. And option D, four phase clock. The correct answer is option D, four phase clock. So in dynamic CMOS logic, four phase clock is used. Next question. In clocked CMOS logic, output is evaluated in option A on period, option B off period, option C both periods that is on and off, option D half of the on period. So the correct answer is option A on period. Next question. In clocked CMOS logic, rise time and fall time are four options are given. The correct answer is option B, slower. Next question. In CMOS domino logic, dash is used. Two phase clock, three phase clock, one phase clock and four phase clock. The correct answer is option C, one phase clock. Next question, CMOS domino logic is same as dash with inverter at the output line. Option A, clocked CMOS logic. Option B, dynamic CMOS logic. Option C, gate logic. Option D, switch logic. The correct answer is option B, dynamic CMOS logic. So CMOS domino logic is same as dynamic CMOS logic with inverter at the output line. Next question, CMOS domino logic occupies option A small area, option B larger area, option C smaller and larger area, option D none of the mentioned above. So the correct answer is smaller area. So CMOS domino logic occupies smaller area. Next question, CMOS domino logic has option A smaller parasitic capacitance option b larger parasitic capacitance option c low operating speed option d very large parasitic capacitance the correct answer is option a smaller parasitic capacitance next question in cmos domino logic dash is possible inverting structure non-inverting structure inverting and non-inverting structure very complex design. So the correct answer is non-inverting structure. Next question. Inverter during its operation drive. Option A input capacitance. Option B gate capacitance. Option C source capacitance. Option D load capacitance. The correct answer is option D load capacitance.
next question power that gates dissipates in the absence of any switching is ac power dc power static power dynamic power so the correct answer is static power power dissipated due to switching of gate so here also four options are given here due to switching of gate so it is dynamic power option d is the right answer an inverter operated by input signal output signal supply voltage input capacitance the correct answer is supply voltage reduction in power dissipation can be brought by option a increasing transistor area option b decreasing transistor area option c increasing transistor feature size option d decreasing transistor feature size the correct answer is option a increasing transistor area the area of cmos inverter is proportional to area of nmos device area of pmos device total area of n and p device square of minimum feature size so the correct answer is option c total area of n mos and p mos device the ratio of wp divided by wn so this is for p mos transistor and this is for n mos transistor can be given by 1 is to 1 next question switching power dissipation can be given as cl into vdd into f f is the frequency vdd is the supply voltage and cl is the load capacitance so four formulas are given the switching power dissipation is given by option d cl vdd square f next question equalizing of rise time and fall time is possible in option a nmos device option b pseudo nmos option c cmos and option d pmos the correct answer is option c cmos next question in cmos circuits which type of power dissipation occurs due to switching of transient current and charging and discharging of load capacitance so this is mainly due to the dynamic power dissipation so option b is the right answer next question the power consumption of static cmos gates varies with the dash of power supply voltage option a square option b is cube option c fourth power option d 1 by 8 power the correct answer is option a is square before the commencement of design the clocking strategy determines option a number of clock signals necessary for routing throughout the chip option b number of transistors used per storage requirement option c power dissipated by chip and the size of chip option d all of the above so the correct answer is option d all the above mentioned next question which type of digital systems exhibit the necessity for the existence of at least one feedback path from the output to input option a combinational system option b sequential system option c both a and b and option d none of the above so the correct answer is option b sequential system because in sequential system only we have feedback next question from the logic families listed below which one is better for the applications requiring low power consumption so low power consumption means the correct answer is option c cmos next question switching power is given by dash so the formula for switching power is p switching equal to alpha c vdd square into f so here alpha is the activity factor c capacitance vdd supply voltage and f is the frequency 
next question dynamic power is given by dash so dynamic power is equal to switching power plus short circuit power next question circuits built switches either using nmos pass transistor or parallel pass pass of nmos and pmos transistors called transmission gates both leakage and noise margin problems can be addressed by adding a dash circuit keeper circuit dual rail domino gates encode each signal with a dash of wires so dual rail so pair of wires a fundamental difficulty with dynamic circuit is dash requirement monotonicity requirement during pre charge the clock is dash during evaluation the clock is dash so during pre charge the clock is zero and during evaluation period the clock is one dash uses both true and complementary input signals and computes both true and complementary outputs using a pair of n mos pull down networks the answer is cvsl that is cascode voltage switch logic high skew gates to favor the dash output transition and low skew gates to favor the dash output transition so high skew gates to favor the rising output transition and low skew gates to favor the falling output transition compound gates are particularly useful to perform complex functions with relatively low logical efforts true or false the above statement is true i hope you all have understood the video if you like this video kindly subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you